final score, 26 to 18 here at this Illinois game, a whole lot better than it was last year. Jim Harbaugh, you're out of, you're, I guess you're out for the season. Is this, does this mean you're a member of the original cast or what? I think so, yeah. It's an old joke. We've yeah. all heard it before. Yes, so. we have. And that's the last time anyone's going to hear it from me. Okay, give me a, a synopsis quickly of what you thought of this football game. It was a great offense and defensive game, and I think it, the main thing is it puts us back in a bowl picture, and uh, it's great to see. I think our offense really took advantage of Illinois' defense by running the option. You know, when, when a team like Illinois plays that much man-to-man -man coverage, they don't have hard support in the secondary, and I think that's why it went, the play went. Unbelievable. Right towards the end, how about yeah. that last score? Was that a surprise? That was great. I, and I also got to give a lot of credit to the defense, Mike Mallory and Red Lyles and uh, Brad Cochran, who came up with an interception. So it was just great to see. I loved it. You think they've picked their uh, permanent replacement for you for this season? For the, yeah, I'm out for the season. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, now, next week it's down at Purdue. They're called the Spoiler Maker sometime. Yeah. We're going to be playing on their turf, and it's real earth down there. What do you yeah. think is going to happen? Oh, I don't know. You know, just we'll see. It'll be a good ball game because they have a heck of a team. It sure will be, and we'll be there with some of the color and excitement to see what happens in foreign territory. Thank you very much, Jim. Thank you. Appreciate it. Right. And we'll see you in West Lafayette next week with more highlights from the 84 season. The Glee Club at the University of Michigan have come up with the most incredible theme song for this year's, and any year's for that matter, down the line, Ohio State game. In fact, guys, is this on the album? Will it be on um, your next album? Uh, it's going it's, it's to be on the next album. It, it, will, it will be on probably their next album. you got to buy a copy of it to help these guys. They're really terrific. And here is their token tribute to the boys in Buckeye Land. of Michigan is going back to the Rose Bowl, coming from behind to beat Ohio State this afternoon in Columbus by a final score of 26 to 24, unleashing a 529-yard offensive attack to upend the Buckeyes to gain a share of the Big Ten title and that spot in the Rose Bowl opposite Arizona State on New Year's Day. The Wolverines upset at home a week ago by Minnesota in a stunning loss. Now, coming on to win this ball game, and the man who guaranteed it, Jim Harbaugh is with Warren Pierce right now. Jim, you guaranteed the win, and you got it. We did it, we came down here, we didn't care where we were playing, I know the type of guys we got, they play best when the adversity's on. I'm so proud of these guys. Yeah. We're the champions of the West, baby. What happened at halftime? You know you had that interception on the goal line, you were driving, Was were you down at halftime? Well, you know, I figured if I, if you lose it, there's about eight, ten ways you can lose a game. You just got to make sure that you win it by 11. So that's what we did. We, made, we did 11 good things to win it. And it seemed like you completely outplayed Ohio State after the first ten minutes. You don't quit. This team is not a quitting team, baby. Even with that, uh, that one fumble down at the end of the game, it began to look dim again for the Wolverines. No, no, we're never out of it. And let me say, Jack, Jack Harbaugh, you got to be very... I can't tell you I'm proud. I'm, I'm, I represent all those parents all over America. I can't tell you I have to ask. All right, congratulations. We're in the midst, if you can hear me, Frank, of television cameras, of photographers, and a very stunned... 
Scarlet and Gray crowd here this afternoon. What an afternoon, what a game to remember. And Gia first in Hawaii, and then Pasadena January 1st. Not a bad way to spend December. <laughs> no, you got that right, Warren Pierce, and you are right. What a game to remember. The most points in a game between these two teams since back in 1968. Bo Schembechler breaking Fielding H. Yost's Michigan coaching record with his 166th victory. And I can't think of a spot where Bo would rather have broken the record, Jim, than right here where he gained his tutelage under Woody Hayes. I don't think there's any place in the world that he'd rather win it, maybe other than Ann Arbor, because Ann Arbor is now his home, and he has certainly made his mark as a head coach at the University of Michigan. To you, Ohio State, to you, Columbus, we say thank you. Thank you and goodbye. We will miss you in the fall, in the winter, in the spring. But someday we shall return. Till then, goodbye, Ohio State. Goodbye, Red and White. Goodbye, Columbus. Goodbye, Columbus. Goodbye. Hurrah for the yellow and blue. Great big beach, you can have to do.